This is how you can install WordPress locally on your computer using a WAMP server. If you want a local web development environment right on your PC, then this is the video for you. This is no code school and let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is come over here to Google and search up WAMP server and click on this link over here. And now you want to download the WAMP server application. So we go over here to downloads and we have a 64 bit version and a 32 bit version. Choose whichever applies to you. We're going to go with 64 bits. And here you can either fill up all this information and download it or click this button here to download it directly. And now our WAMP server is downloading. So let's wait for that to finish. So there we go. Our download is done. We're going to launch it. And here we have our WAMP setup wizard. So click OK and read the license agreement carefully and click I accept the agreement and click next. Click next again and now you can choose the folder into which WAMP will install. So I'm going to choose a different folder than the one given here. Click next and here they give you a few component options. Just go with the default installation here and click next and click next again and click install. And now you wait while WAMP is installed on your computer. There we go. Now WAMP is installed on our PC. We click next and click finish setup. Here we have WAMP server right here. We're going to click it and launch it. And there we go, WAMP server is now installed on our PC. If you come down here to your toolbar, you'll see the WAMP logo. Click it and click on local host. And here we have our local host. This is where all your projects will be shown. So what you want to do is go over here to PHP My Admin, click it. And here we have our PHP My Admin login page. In the username spot, just type in root. Leave the rest as it is and click login. And this is our PHP My Admin homepage. Now here what we want to do is create a database. So here on the database tab, we can create a database. Let's give it a name first. WordPress and click create. And there we go. Now our database WordPress is created. And after this, we move on to installing WordPress. So what you want to do is go to the folder where you installed WAMP. So let me just do that real quick. So here we are in the WAMP folder. And now we open this www folder and create a new folder and give it a name. Let's give it the name WordPress. Next, what you want to do is go to Google and search WordPress. And the actual WordPress you want is this one, WordPress.org. And here on the left hand side, click download WordPress. And now we navigate to the downloaded file location. And it is a zip file. So we're going to extract the zip file, extract it. And here's our extracted file. So we're going to select all of these and copy them and go to the place where we installed WAMP and go to the folder that we made WordPress and paste all the contents from the downloaded WordPress installation file. And there we go. We've copy pasted all the contents from the WordPress installation file into our WAMP www server in this WordPress folder here. This is our WAMP installation folder. Now to continue with our process, go to your browser and type in localhost slash WordPress. This will start our WordPress installation procedure. So we choose our language and click continue. Click let's go. And here we have a few fields we need to fill out. Here the database name should be same as the database name that you created in your PHP My Admin. So here it is WordPress. So here also we're giving it WordPress. Keep the username as root and leave the rest of them the same and click submit. And there we go. We made it through this part of the installation. Let's click run the installation. And here we have some information we need to fill out. Here we can give the website a title. Let's give it no code school. Username can be anything. Let's have it as no code school itself. Let's choose a password and give it an email as well. And click install WordPress. And there we go. Success WordPress has now been installed. We can go into login here and put in the username you had. Click login and there you have it. You have WordPress locally installed on your PC using a WAMP server. What you can do now is build and customize your website right here on your computer. So that concludes our tutorial on installing WordPress with a WAMP server. We hope you learned something here today. If you like it, leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any other tools that you would like us to cover in the future, please let us know in the comments down below. Once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.